Hi, welcome to Bouncing Ball Tutorial developed using P5JS with an if statement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Okay guys, we are now inside the editing package called bracket. So let's declare the following variable. I'm going to just call that y equals and let's give the value equals zero and the other variable I'm going to declare would be the speed so let's say the speed is approximately let's make that 12 and let's use the function function set up entire parentheses and curly braces right in there I would then create my canvas and let's set the dimension to 1350 by let me make that 600 there now the other thing we need to do is let's create another function so that we can draw our bouncing ball using if statement. The first thing I like to do before I do that is let's define our background color. I'm going to make that black and let's say eclipse mode. Eclipse mode let that be centered right okay now let me just enter a little text here I'm going to call that text how to create a bouncing ball right let's assign coordinate to it I'm going to make it 0 by 10 right so that means it will be hanging somewhere here okay now now let's fill and I'm going to make that zero. Then apply stroke. The stroke, let's give it to 155. That's more or less like white. And what about stroke width? Stroke width. I'm going to make that let's go for something maybe we we'll make the width about five yeah that's all right okay now what I'm going to do now is that's y equals y plus speed right then let's go for the let's go for the use of if statement to determine the value if y greater than I'm gonna go for height or this is how you enter all y less than zero then I want I want the ball to do do certain thing for me let's get rid of one of these here and enter coil bridges so in that case so that the ball can bounce back once hit the ground so I'm gonna say speed equals speed 
multiply by minus one there okay so what I would now do is I will then draw out my eclipse and enter some coordinate there all right so I'm just gonna make that coordinate for this eclipse I'm gonna make it 110 by y by 50 and by 50 which is the size of my eclipse so let's save this now and just run it and see what's going to happen let's see there we go guys you can see the ball bouncing up and down and right up here how to create a bouncing ball okay so the other thing I might do is let's add more of these balls in there and just change maybe add 60 to it that's 170 and this is 230 and we have 290 there then let's go for 350 let's go to file and save so I've just changed the coordinate of the bouncing ball let's see what's going to happen there we go okay one of the, the balls are now showing or two actually yeah let's take those zeros and try it again save let's run it and see there we go guys all right so i'm just going to speed that up add more balls to it okay i've added more air clips to it so let's save it now um, and give it a try and there we go guys there we go you see that that's beautiful isn't it so i want to close that and just come up here let me change the color of that variable let's say 200 and see what's going to happen maybe gray or something like that let's run it and see all right you see the balls guys so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it so you all have a nice day now those are the lines of clothes. Bye for now.